through the gates of hell as we make our way to heaven through the Nazi lines. Rivo Victoria! Hi guys, it's Svetka from that side. I will try to show you brand new or spanking new uh, tank in World of Tanks game. Wargaming just released on the European server this beauty. This is the Swedish 8 um, year medium tank called uh, Primo Victoria. The name coming from a, a Swedish. Uh, heavy metal or death metal band called um, how is it called actually uh, Sabaton yes it's Sabaton always forgetting about that I never hear before it seems to be like they playing quite alright music a little bit controversial band like most of the heavy metal and death metal bands are and a little bit controversial tank too as well so what we got here really we got the tank which is a little bit surprised to me because there's not the tank what I expect in the World of Tanks in the uh, coming days. It's actually a version of STRV81. Uh, the tank what we could see in the game already in um, in our um, toll when we can compare the uh, tanks uh, was. SR V81, the tank actually was here, so means like the Primo Victoria coming first just before that tank, and um, also it's just the more supreme version I would say, more expensive one, and actually probably better value for money for the end than this tank what is not available yet in the game just. We can see it already in our garages when coming to um, um, comparison uh, section. So, the two differences, like you can see here, and that will be all my talk about it, is the four uh, team crew in that tank, and also uh, the uh, Victoria, who have uh, five uh, crew members. So when coming to the band, it's five of them, and uh, the faces of the uh, musicians you can see here with their names as well. So already on the European servers, I will try to show you in a second from a um, different account uh, that crew members, and this is a little bit controversial as well. However, this is the one of my big questions. Are we really need this tank in that version in World of Tank games? I suppose it's lots of tanks with uh, totally copies of another ones. Like uh, now we have a, um, a Japanese HD number six tank, and from nowhere it came to Tiger 131 on the Germans line as well. Uh, it, it's like that for Swedish. I suppose they they favorite national bands, and uh, it's coming to life in our game. Hmm, let them be then. Uh, the only question is, like we could say, is a five crew members, and so far the Tech 3 in Swedish is not really big. You have a Lago from Tech 10, uh, 4 up to Leo in 4 uh, tier uh, 7. And what's coming with them? All of them, especially the medium tank, what I'm showing you now, the uh, Esther V74, the most wanted uh, tank in that tier when coming to the mediums, have a four guys. So four member crews uh, train, and then they can be trained in your uh, brand new spanking um, medium as well. However, you will see that you're missing the one guy, so really you could say that the your tra uh, one guy will be trained for nothing, that there will be actually any use in the game apart from just on the 8 level tank so your guys from here of course they can uh, replace the guys who are playing on that tank over there uh, um, or just the tanks from uh, if you didn't start the deadline yet you can play the um, brand new centurion uh, swedish version and then just get them here to that tank however you will yeah always lose that little bit of experience training another one extra guy so that is the only my concern uh, it's still better than the very cheap version of uh, six tier when you have three 
uh, members of a crew so it's probably better to have one extra than one not enough uh, I, I suppose however it's both really a little bit useless when that third version not available yet in the world of tanks the, the STRV-81 it's actually designed for this tank to, uh, to cr uh, train the same crew so maybe in the close future the second version without camouflage without all these uh, lovely bits will be included in the game and that actually saying me the first stop sign when coming to buying the brand new uh, Primo uh, Victoria so all right when we come into comparisons I will include that STRV-81 in uh, that section also FL4202 and Centurion 1 because really the Centurion 1 is the old version of uh, Primo Victoria so really that is the base for the um, tank what we're talking about and when coming to all and that crew members training uh, you seem to be missing something like yeah in the Swedish is not really much to train guys come on it would be great if we have an 8 year and we have a like in a um, British line up to tanks up to um, Cen uh, Centurion AX on the end so you have really great opportunity to get even 10 tier tank crews train on the 8 tier uh, okay so when coming to the details I just put them all on 100% crew with the brothers in arms and also the camouflage on the tank as well because the Primo Victoria is already uh, painted so I paint them all and when coming to the statistics it looks like actually the STRV81 uh, will have a little bit better camouflage apart from that it's all both the tanks is the same and so really the say the little bit challenge here is just about the camouflage uh, of course uh, or maybe I will switch the FV for now for not confusing you anymore I will just focus on both um, really all the parameters for the tanks is the same very hard tarot so it means to be like a very nice open really tank in a uh, world of tanks when coming to the tarot so if you can go to any ridge and just get your tarot on top of it you can shot everybody right and you will bounce easily uh, most of the opponents shells from 8 tier 9 even some of the turns will just bounce off and fly somewhere else uh, up to the sky most of the time uh, when coming to the camouflage yeah that the second versions what is not available yet and hope so will be in the game will give you opportunity to choose the camouflage for start and for the second the, most of them they usually getting like three or four percent of the camouflage to the uh, tank when the painted ones usually have about two or three so it's a one or two percent more that's why actually when we will say include the same crew in both of the tanks the STRV-81 is looks better in the paper of course anything else from that is really really the same so when coming to the Victoria uh, it's a tank of course who will have a matchmaking for tier 10 and like you can see uh, with the tier 10 opponents the uh, normal ammunition will have just 226 penetration and 230 damage 8 um, shells per second so the 8 rounds really is not much with the, that is the average uh, damage 1840 uh, dispersion is very good it's uh, 0.33 so it's very good accurate ta um, cannon with that um, heavy armor um, tarot will be a great tank to play really um, so looks like really it's when coming to the top so like just to the tarot like cut it off from the base of the tank it really looks good uh, and we'll do with the job and um, already just say that the lowest part of it and the top it is bouncing almost everything off the weakest weak uh, really place is just the hatch here so really one of the common weak spots really in the world of tanks games and um, 
The second thing, the sides, they not really thick, so you need to really uh, look on your opponent straight forward to bounce most of it. The only problem is with that tank, it's a little bit high. So when coming to a lower plate or to higher plate on a front, they're not really armor, it's about 70 few uh, millimeters, so really most of your opponents will just penetrate you without any problem. Most of the uh, high explosive uh, shells will penetrate you as well and probably do the mess in it. So really it's the tank who can high hip and play from the say like second third line uh, really be more defensive than we can expect. With his speed is a little bit uh, sad that we have a 50 kilometers per hour and then the tank is designed just to sit on uh, any ridge or ditch or hole really. Uh, just we'll see how it is. In, uh, I saw, uh, watched already a couple of uh, games uh, um, because I didn't buy the tank yet. I always getting my uh, movies on the tanks, what I can buy, what I can play. Uh, I have an access to that special community contributors who have the tanks few days before they release and they can make the videos. And just really the, that fierce things makes me think it's really worth it to spend all that money uh, for buying that tank at the moment. And for me, answer it's. Uh, not really yet, because there is no much content in that Swedish uh, tech tree. Really, it's uh, four, five, six, and seven tier. So eight tier, it's kind of getting you here, and then it's nothing else uh, at the moment. So in the future, maybe the the tank will be great if we'll have a uh, extension from Leo up to uh, tier. 10 at the moment it's a little bit um, awkward that uh, the great tank won't really get us any nice crew crew is always a crucial part of the tank especially when coming to the premiums most of the times we're thinking okay this tank is a little bit more expensive than everybody else that is when we will compare uh, Primo Victoria to, for example, FV4202, uh, the tank you can buy in Tech Tree, so you can buy this from gold, receiving from uh, tournaments or from Clan Wars, not necessarily just for real, real money. When another one, the Swedish one, you will need to pay in cash, whatever. Um, the difference is, is so when you come in really to that tank and you have a, a brother in arms. What really this one's is a little bit uh, controversial is the Sabaton really. Like, come on guys, it's some kids playing that game and we have a, a band of brothers here with a, this big satanic fingers like some people saying. It's a really big uh, fuss about that really in the European server when the tank is already released. Uh, so I will leave that without any more comments. Just when coming really to the crew, uh, you have a hundred percent crew, so you're gaining here about like a few nice dollars compared to a power any of the normal premium tanks available in the shop and also in the game. Because if you want to have just clean team, you say you have an, any uh, medium tanks in both trees, the tank here need to be trained. The, the crew need to be trained for up to 100% at least to start getting any perks in the tank so the that will cost you about 800 uh, uh, gold so it's already a bit of money to put to it and then when you will think about the training the crew uh, the first perk for every single one of these guys is about 1600 gold to change uh, to exchange with the with the um, your um, experience so it's nothing for free really that's why this tank is a little bit more expensive however you have a big discount really because we will think 1600 gold times five that give you a big figure you will probably be able to buy another one of those tanks uh, really to get this tank with that crew on it so it's much more experience already done here so that is really good saving when coming to the Swedish uh, 
just is that question why you need that uh, team for when you're starting i think so it's great however i will wait still a little bit longer for the option that my be released the strv 81 with four crew members so this way you will train a little bit faster your crew and the crew what you needed really for the swedish medium tanks so we'll see what will happen the tank in the european version is available for next 30 days so i presume that in that time we'll know something more about STRV81 from Wargaming and then maybe I can make finally my decision and get uh, this tank to my garage so far I really thought that it's not really the best idea just to buy this straight away and to show you so if you wanna watch just games with that tank you can have a look on uh, different YouTube channels, it's already few guys uh, who showing that tank. In my opinion, I'm not spending a few dollars at the moment yet for this tank. I will see it, how it goes, and then will make my final decision. At the moment, I prefer FV4202 uh, because when you come into the game, they both tarot play uh, tanks. Uh, they both mediums, they have very similar pa um, parameters when coming to details and when you can see the FV it's slightly smaller uh, so his tarot really sticking out from the hull, it's, it's easier to hide this tank than his Swedish opponent who looks like more like heavy big tank with a medium uh, tarot on top of it so nice paint with the crew with the brothers in arms or musicians in arms i will say here um, uh, with that little bit controversial fingers up uh, so yeah you need to think that it's really good tank for you or not my consideration is it's not really the best eight tier tank to play any tournaments or clan wars in the future or it won't be really great to play any of the team um, content in the game so really that will be the tank for the random games and with 10 tier matchmaking we'll see the tank have a quite all right um, wallet so i will say that you will gain uh, good credits in the game however it won't be that the best gaining money uh, premium tank in the game not at all the shells are a little bit expensive even the basic ones they are about 600 uh, silver so that won't be really a great uh, money maker in the game or maybe something will change I don't know so it's up to you you want to buy this tank or not I'm actually holding my horses on it uh, even this looks great I will give myself a couple of days before I will uh, uh, finally uh, go for it or maybe not I don't know uh, so really concern all these things what I told you before you, you buying it it's great looking yeah this not talking anything else it's just time for you to think it is really worth it it is really worth it it is really worth it okay thanks for watching and see you soon on the battlefield bye